<laughs> Describe season three in three words. Ooh, dark. Bloody brilliant. That's three. That's three. <laughs> there you dark, go. bloody brilliant. Oh, yeah, right. So can you give us any hints on season three? What's going to happen season three? Of course I can. I mean, with the show, with Gotham City in general, it's in a place of total mayhem with a complete lack of order and authority, mm -hmm. largely due to the fact that a busload of monsters have been sent aimlessly on the streets of Gotham with the sole purpose of wreaking havoc. Um, and so there is a total, there's not, Gotham is not in a good place, let's just leave it at that. And specifically with Bruce and Alfred, uh, we take, we, we, we pick up six months after season two left off of season yeah. three. And uh, Bruce and Alfred have been in Switzerland. Skiing. Uh, always skiing. And um, they come back for a spe very specific purpose, uh, having to do with a major bad guy of season three. Yeah, I mean, I think that it's out there already that people sort of know that, that uh, the puppet masters of the whole of Gotham, and as you know, in the first two seasons, we've been investigating the deaths of Mark Thomas and Martha Wayne. And uh, we discovered that the puppet masters that run the town of Gotham, the city of Gotham, are the cause of battles. So we get introduced to some new characters, which I think you probably already know. There's the Mad Hatter. Right. Poison Ivy. Talon. Uh, Solomon Grundy and Killer Croc will be coming on later on in the season. And that's all I'm at liberty to say. Yeah.